All right, so you're due for a colonoscopy, a mammogram, and a pap smear. Now let's review your med list. Make sure everything's up to date. All right, man, I'm just going to be real. Your labs basically say your liver is destroyed. Sorry to be bringing this up, but you're going to have to quit drinking now. That's right, no more alcohol for you. Man, I feel so sorry for you. So sorry you can't be blessed with an iron liver like mine. All right, I'm getting in your prescription. The instructions are already going to be written, but I will tell them to you anyway. Be sure to take it with food, one in the morning, one at night. If you experience any nausea or changes in bowel movements, be sure to call my office and... Dang, you got some real wax buildup in those ears. Glad to hear you're feeling better. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to bring up? Any questions about all those meds that I had you start on? All right, sir, we're going to talk about making some lifestyle changes with your diet and alcohol intake. Hey, I know I'm not the best role model when it comes to that stuff, but I got some awesome tips that work, even though I myself might not follow it well. So glad you're feeling better. How's your wife doing? And the kids? How are the kids? Okay, so your blood pressure is still really high. Uh, I sure hope I can fix this. I really don't want to be incompetent here. <sighs> so you didn't take the meds like I told you to. And now your labs are out of whack. Totally saw this coming. So instead of taking the medications that I'm recommending, you would rather try some home remedies. Hmm. Do you not trust me? And okay, come on. You say there are some glowing reviews for these home remedies. How do you know these aren't fake reviews? All right, your blood pressure is still spiking. Obviously, you didn't take my advice and cut back on all that red meat. Time to get you started on some meds here. All right, I'm going to prescribe you a drug that will help keep your blood sugar stable. Now, this drug works by inhibiting mitochondrial glycerophosphate dehydrogenase, which will subsequently decrease hepatic gluconeogenesis and intestinal glucose absorption. Sir, I'm sincerely sorry to be the bringer of this bad news, but don't worry. We can look at how this illness fits into the bigger picture of your life and see that there is a bright side to this, that there truly is hope. Oof, ugh. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Crazy day, my goodness. Sir, your blood pressures are still too high. Your A1C already gives away that you haven't been cutting back on your sugars. Come on, I know you can do better. You can do this, I believe in you. Um, so I started you on some cholesterol meds, and your cholesterol is actually higher now. Urk, did I do something wrong? Oh, why does my job have to be so hard?